You leave me alone for a couple of days? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen a planking wombat before? I want to fall in love. Don't be inviting any girls or anything over. Take me on a roller coaster. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Paulwell. Morning. Morning. A couple weeks off. It wasn't great, was it? Wasn't great for you. No, I'm ill. I've been ill. I've been ill the whole time. Day the last vlog went out, I got ill, didn't I? Yeah. And uh, I'm still with some kind of infection, chest infection or something. I need to chuck out my daffodils, I think. Oh yeah, they're done. <laughs> they didn't last long at all. No, they don't last long, actually. I'm actually just going to sit here and get them in a second. Because I'm off. What do you mean? I'm away. See you well, later. Oh, where are you going? So if I did that to you... <laughs> Harassment. Exactly. I'm off to Scotland. See the farm for a couple of days. Leaving you and Paisley here. You're leaving me? I'm leaving you. Yeah. I'm going to Scotland. I've had enough. You've had enough? How yeah. long are you going for? Indefinitely. No, how long are you going for? A couple of days. You're leaving me alone for a couple of days? <laughs> yeah. We're meant to vlog. Well, you're going to have a little uh, weekend, well, it's not actually the weekend, but you'll have a few days at home with James. That'll be interesting. That's going to be boring, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure you'll get up to something. Why, why, why didn't you invite me? <laughs> why are you pretending you want to come? I would have loved to have gone. All right, we'll go and pack a bag. It's too late now, you're off. You're no. already halfway out the door. It's only a couple of days. Chuck some jeans in the bag, we'll go. I've got to have a shower and stuff. Not for a car, I'll Johnny. I'll hold you back. You can shower when we get there. Who's going to look after the dog? She can come. Anyway, I'm off. I'll try and do a little bit of vlogging while I'm up there. Yeah, try and do a little bit. Seriously, I'm just here for a couple of days. Yeah. That's going to be well boring. That's going to be so boring. Well, you have to do something exciting with them. I know you're panicking. I'm panicking now as well. <laughs> but don't you worry. This is going to be the most exciting vlog you've ever seen. So... I'm going to jump in the car. Because the sooner you go, the better. There's no point in hanging around. Go on, you might as well go. See you later. See ya. See you in, see you in Scotland. See you later. My family's in Florida and I'm in New York. Well, Claire and the kids are gone. Just me and Paisley. We're watching this um, Prince Andrew thing. It's quite interesting, it's quite good. Claire and the kids, they've been gone for about an hour now and I'm already bored out of my mind i gotta be honest with you something quite humbling about being on in the house on your own you're always thinking oh i'd love to just you know have some time to myself for a bit i'm so busy there's so much to do there's so much going on i just want some time to myself and then you have some time to yourself and it takes literally less than an hour to realize that you've just got nothing <laughs> that's pretty much it really me paisley watching a film gonna get I don't know, something really filthy for lunch. Just sit here with a bucket of KFC to myself or something. That'll be fun. But mainly just, uh, I'm just going to be sat here for the day. I have been ill. I know I mentioned it earlier. I've been so ill. I'm still ill now. Um, I've obviously got, uh, I don't want to go into too much graphic detail. I've obviously got an infection because I'm coughing and snotting up green stuff uh, and I think if it's green it means you've got some sort of infection but the problem is right it's gone on for so long that I keep going oh it must be over by tomorrow like it has been a week and a half if I call up the doctor now and say oh can I see you tomorrow I'll probably be better and I've been saying that for about a week and I'm like well if I call if I call up the doctor now I'll probably I'll probably be better by the time she can see me but it's just been going on and on and on very blocked up ears are blocked sore chest that's it that's what's going on that's what's going on in my life at the moment jesus christ but yeah more sitting here if i do anything interesting i'll let you know i just want to hear something wild this is the first time in over four years i've had my own toilet this is why i don't eat everybody cook my lawn care people. What's an experience you've had with a cheap customer? Add a dishwasher pod with hot water and let it soak. I'm 47 years old, have a six pack of abs. I hit cardio every single day and I train abs at least once, if not twice a week. If you're a woman in your 30s and you love coffee 
and fashion and you love luxury if you like watching makeup videos and you want to learn about skincare and beauty treatments yeah. then let's hang out okay I'm have you ever wondered how massive oil rigs are constructed in the middle of the deep ocean well the ocean's yeah. depth is pretty stagnant <laughs> song the number one mistake that people make when they're trying to get the perfect crackling is well you can find out down in the caption along with my recipe for the Not reading is. have you ever seen a planking wombat before well here's one right here so you guys didn't know about this amazing hack stop spending your money on stupid shit. okay let's guess the car suv or truck um it's a truck Definitely a truck. Definitely a truck. It's not an SUV, that's a truck. It's gotta be a truck. It's gotta be a truck. Show us the outside. That's gotta be a truck. Right, show us the outside. I wanna know whether it's an SUV or a truck. I think it's a truck. Light duty repairs or It's a van! Maintenance, you just call up one of these vans it's not a truck or an SUV, you idiot! Consider that a divorce. Consider that a divorce. Yeah. You alright? Mm-hmm. No, I'm just gonna go to bed. Are you actually? Yeah, I'm bored. There's nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's only ten past nine. To be fair, I'm knackered. Yeah. Just what have you been doing? Just sitting here with Paisley watching um that bloke with the glasses on YouTube camping in Alaska. Oh, I like him. I've been watching him for about three hours now. It is quite addictive though, isn't it? It is nice and relaxing. What is it called? Outdoor Boys on YouTube. Yeah. Are you vlogging? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Can they see me? Yeah. How can they see me? I got, I've got. i set up the camera. You're spoiling <laughs> the magic here, Claire. <laughs> Hi guys. Was I not supposed to know that you were vlogging there? Yeah. Do you want to know how I knew? This is meant to be very natural and very sort of like... What? Right, well, do you want to know how I knew? How did you know? You keep going. All oh, right, I keep looking at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just making I sure it's re recording. Yeah, me and Paisley just been chilling <laughs> out all day. Probably do the same tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I just had to take the food bin out. It was kicking up a bit, I think. Mm. 
So, got rid of that. Oh, God, are you all right? Yeah. You know, I, you know, I couldn't know you had to do something. It was a bit annoying because it really did cut into the streak of not having to do anything all day long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Johnny was all right? <laughs> yeah. God, this vlog is going to be so exciting. I cannot imagine how boring it's going to be. <laughs> I fed the dog around seven and it was just, the sun was starting to go down and I just sat outside with a Capri Sun for about <laughs> half an hour or so. She did Rock and roll. Yeah, she was just running about. Everyone all right though? Your mum and dad all right? Yeah, everybody's good. My mum went to the butchers and got um, a steak pie, which was delish. The one we have at right, Christmas. Brilliant. I'm going to go to bed and then I'll call the boys to say goodnight just before I go to sleep. Okay, okay. All right. I'll speak to you tomorrow. All right. All right. Good night. Don't be inviting any girls or anything over while I'm away. Why? Why not? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I suppose if you want. Right, I'll text you when um, when the boys are in bed. You can phone them. All right. Okay. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Give us a wave for the vlog. Bye. Morning, guys. Day two, being home alone. Didn't sleep very well last night. Even though you think you should. You know, you're on your own. No one's bothering you. You should be able to fall asleep. When you've had kids and there's a whole routine, bedtime routine and stuff, that really makes you be ready for bed. Last night I was just laying in bed like, oh, this doesn't feel like it's bedtime. I was up for hours. It took me so long to fall asleep. But I woke up today, had a little shower, came downstairs. I actually got, um, it's, to be fair, this doesn't happen very often, but I got a few bits of uh, fan mail. Well, I'll say fan mail. Sometimes it's fan mail. Most of the time it's just, um, can you sign some stuff? Someone sent me their cover to the Inbetweeners DVD. Dear Mr. Buckley, please find enclosed a DVD cover of your classic movie. Classic. Uh, the in-betweeners, would you be so kind as to sign and return it in the envelope provided? Please note, I do not sell any autographs received from some bloke called Craig. The problem with this is, is that, you know, nine times out of ten, it is just uh, someone that wants to have your autograph so they can stick it on eBay for, I don't know, pound fifty or something. You get so many letters that, are, that all have the same sort of theme. It's very difficult to work out whether someone genuinely would like your autograph and you know, appreciates what you do, which is amazing, which is great. Or if they just want to, you know, in a way, use you to make money off of you, which does make you feel a bit, you know, maybe I overthink things too much. DVD cover, I've got to send that back. Can't let that person now not have a cover on their DVD. <laughs> got another one here. I bet, I bet it's a picture of me when I was in Doctor Who. That almost comes up more than the in-betweeners. What have we got here? Oh, it's not a picture. Hi James, hope you are well. My name's Yvonne, I'm 37 and a carer. I have watched you on TV for a very long time and enjoyed your character in the in-betweeners and also White Gold. It was great to see you in the new series Finders Keepers with Neil. Could I be cheeky and ask for a signed photo of yourself? That's going to take a little bit of work, that one. That's going to take a little bit of digging. I'm sure I can find something somewhere. I'll have a word with someone. But I need to sign that DVD. I can send that back today. So I'll do that because, let's face it, I've got nothing else going on. What do you think of this? Little sort of rugby... Got it a couple of weeks ago. It's the first time I'm wearing it. Oh, so I actually uh, went up into my office, had a little digging around, and I managed to find a picture of me to sign for Yvonne. But this must be the oldest picture of me that... <laughs> I mean, this is a... This is quite embarrassing. <laughs> That's the best I could do. No beard, look weird. So, sign that for Craig. Sign that for Yvonne. Yvonne? Get those sent off, off today. Still got nothing. Still got nothing for you guys. Stick around. Oh, hey guys, little vlog update for you. I just had a little Nando's for lunch. Absolutely stuffed myself. <sighs> like I'm so full up. Got the little chocolate cake dessert as well. Unnecessary. Something exciting, I say exciting. Some things happened. We were actually supposed to go and see our friend Steve, who's Paul Weller's guitarist, this evening. I arranged it with him when I was drunk about a month ago. Well, obviously Claire's gone up to Scotland. So I've said, oh, it's just me. 
Is that all right? Usually people will even want to see Claire or the kids. They're usually a di bit disappointed when they find out it's just me. Which, you, you know, I'm sure you're getting from watching this vlog so far. Can I just pop along? You know, I'm going to go and um, watch the sound check. Then, you know, watch the gig. And then just come home. Just by myself. Because he's playing with Paul Weller. And I'm going to take the camera along with me. This posh camera that we use for our vlogging. And I'm going to try and take some pictures. Like, use it as an actual photography camera that sort of thing so hopefully that'll be a bit more interesting than me just sitting around watching youtube videos of people living in alaska in the wilderness that's what i spent all of last night doing i need to get ready and i need to set off i need to head out because i've got to get all the way to the gig and stuff so i'm probably gonna have to change although i'm liking this jumper man although i just don't think it's well a gig jumper it's more sort of um e17 um, so I'm gonna go and get ready and then I'm gonna jump the car. Don't go anywhere, hold on to your hats. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. All right, little uh, fit check. That's what I'm going with. Adidas trainers, Adidas trousers, white t-shirt and a little Fred Perry sort of shacket thing. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath, I've eaten too much food. I went downstairs to get this camera and uh, then I came back up again. I don't know what this camera is focusing on. I think I've messed up the camera. But her mummy is yelling no. <laughs> Take me on a roller coaster. Take me on an airplane ride. Say a prayer for me now Save it till the morning Uh, got to check out Paul and his band uh, doing his little what do they call it sound check sir that was exciting as a fan it's incredibly exciting to be able to watch and now um, I think the I think the guys are getting fed so I'm gonna sit down with Steve and have a bit to eat what's the catering like then Steve catering. modified is it good modified how was your sound check modified <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Yeah. You really excited? Yeah, man. You want to tell your face? <laughs> hmm? You want to tell your face you're excited? I'll check those out. What are you saying to that? Yeah, they're brilliant. Are Where, they? Yeah, you're a little shoe gatekeeper, aren't you? Where'd you get your shoes from? <sighs> Germany. See, that doesn't help. Cause I, so if I want a pair of them, I've got to go to Germany. Where no, do I go? Who do I talk to? Oh, uh, okay. It's a company called Zha Berlin. Zha Berlin. Yeah. They got. They're on the interweb. They are on the internet. Yeah. All right. What shoes are you wearing? I've got a uh, little Adidas sort of brown. <laughs> Not too dissimilar to yours, to be honest. No, they're cool. yeah similar. Little. little are these, uh, uh, have you got problems with bunions or something? No. Why? No, I'm not. Just the sole looks a little orthopedic. These are um. They do. They Not look a bit built up, don't they? <laughs>
Oh, that's me back home. It's quite late. I'm shattered. I'm gonna go to bed. Maybe I'll pick this up again tomorrow. Although, I might have to wait until Claire comes home because I'm sure you're sick of the sight of me by now. We'll see. Let's find out together. Good night. <laughs> above, what's touching the ground, above the ground. Yeah, that's what I'm and it had lights on it. Did see the just stopped in there. Smell you. Suddenly, one end of it just opened up. You got hay fever. It's same. Uh, I think you might need to go out and get me some fruit. Boring day too, guys. Oh, absolutely freezing. Cannot get warm. It was a bit of a late night last night. Paul asked me to introduce him to the stage, which I wasn't. You don't say no. In fact, I think I was a bit like, oh, I don't know. And for some reason, I was incredibly nerve wracking. It wasn't my idea, but I, you know, I chucked in a bus because in there. It's a little crowd pleaser, just to get get people on your side. I had saveloy and chips for tea, and. Uh, that's it, that's all, I, that's, that's all that's happened today. God knows what this vlog's gonna be like. The whole reason I got Claire to do these vlogs with me was because I knew I wouldn't be able to just vlog myself. So, hopefully you haven't been too bored. What time is it? It's about four o'clock in the afternoon now. I'll probably just sit here all evening, wait for Claire and the kids to come home tomorrow. Hello. You need your code for Roblox as well. Okay, what is it, Dad? It is. Okay, thank you. That's it, you're in, yeah? Yeah, bye, Dad. Oh, you're just going to go, are you? Oh, well, yeah, I'm playing Roblox. Oh, alright, I was just going to see how you're getting on or whatnot, but, it's, you know, if you're busy. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Yeah, Jude? I outran Callan Harrison and Mum's car in a race. What does that mean? Challenged us if we could get to Grant's house before the car does. Right. All of us, and I, I came first. All right. So I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> okay, well done. I've also been working out a bit. Oh, you have, have you? Yeah, in Papa's gym. Oh, you've been in, in his gym, have you? Uh, yeah. What have you been doing? I've been lifting like 10 kilograms and like 4 kilograms. What, like dumbbells or? Little circle weights. I've also been doing squatting and pull-ups. Oh, you have, have you? Yeah. All right. Like Me too. Me too. I've Sorry? been, I've been working out a lot while you've been away as well. What have you been doing? I've been doing. Um, I, I ran. I, I beat. I, I was beating cars as well. I was running. Uh, bye, Dad. All right. Bye, mate. Love you. I love you too. Oh, bye, Dad. Bye. Software update for my for my iPhone. Should make sure I do that. Make sure the uh, operating system is all up to date. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll do that tonight when I'm in bed. You know, it's nice to have something to look forward to, isn't it? <clears throat> well, it's evening time, and I've just me and Paisley have just sat here all day. It's been so boring. Let me get my bottle out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Today has been one of the most boring days of my life. Careful what you wish for. I always think, oh, I'd love a day just on the couch without having to do anything, without having to get up and run after anyone or help, you know, help the kids out with something or, you know. You know, it's just, it's not that good. It's not that good. Coming home tomorrow, so it'll be back to all the nonsense and just all the general crap that comes with having children, which are, which I've missed over the last couple of days. Boring day today. Ever so boring. I'm going to bed. Good night. We nearly made it. We've nearly made it. 
Claire and the kids are home. They'll be home in a few hours time. I didn't go completely insane without them, which is great. Um, what it means right now is that I've got to do a little sweep of the house. So little things like, you know, putting the cushions back on the chair from where, in the sofa, in the living room, where I've been like falling asleep in the living room pretty much every afternoon since they've gone. Here's a little thing for you. Check this out, right? Now, um, before Claire left, um, she was making like a sandwich or some toast or something, and there's some breadcrumbs there. Uh, I've left to the last minute to tidy up, sure. I feel like stuff like that's a little trap. Leaves a little, leaves a little trap for me. So when she does come over, she goes, oh, look, that's not, that's not done. No, 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 I'm on it, I'm on it. So I need to clean this up. What do you need, what do you do to get rid of these breadcrumbs then? Probably have to get my tool kit from the garage. Then it's gonna need some, there's some scratches in this as well. Some little scratches, so I'm gonna have to sand that out. And uh, probably have to give it a new coat of some kind of varnish or something like that, some kind of sealant to stop any microplastics getting into the, into food and things. And just sort of project, protecting the, protecting the, uh, the cutting board and the longevity of it, really. Um, so I'm gonna spend the next sort of four hours cleaning some crumbs off of the chopping board. <laughs> there you go, wipe the tops down. Quick little hoover and it's clean enough. You don't want it too clean, because then Claire will start getting suspicious. She'll think something's up. She'll start looking for something that's broken. So just to, to, just a little bit tidy. That's all I'm going for. But they should be home soon. <laughs> ah! I got you. I got you. You win. Why is it whenever I play with you, Paisley, they always get covered in dribble? Are you kidding me? You're home! Get lost! You're home, Claire. How's the journey? Oh. Come here. God. Come here, did you miss me? Oh, my neck hurts so much. Did you miss me even just a little bit? Sure. Hey. What? You know, um, you're going to be very proud of me. What? You know those breadcrumbs that you left on here? <laughs> yeah. Look, look. Gone. Well done. You don't even have to worry about it. They're gone. Because I know what you're trying to do as well. So I'll leave them. I'll leave them. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with those little breadcrumbs. Well, I'm too f***ing smart for you, you stupid <laughs> bitch. Anyway, you're just in time, Claire, to say goodbye. It's been me. I've been keeping them entertained. But it's great to have you back. Oh. I did miss you. I did miss you a lot. It's ever so boring without you and the kids. Right, guys. Claire's back. I've so, got a as well. <coughs> And she's got to go and have a piss. So we will see you next week. Claire will be in the vlog. Don't you worry. And everything will be back to normal and everything will be great. Thanks for hanging out with me while I've been on my own. I have appreciated it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And why not subscribe? Hey, we'll see you next week. Tell them to stay scummy, Claire. Stay scummy. Night, night. Bye.